Hi there, it's Karen Karen. Welcome back to my channel. It's winter outside. Maybe you can see it. The snow is on the ground. And I'm inside. <laughs> it's nice. Today, I'm going to paint a rock. I'm going to paint a rock for Ashley and her grandson, Dominic. Ashley gave me this rock, which is like a perfect rock. It's cylind cylindrical. It's got a lovely oval to it. And I was painting ladybugs this summer and I gave one to her. I left it on top of her car. <laughs> And about a month later, she goes, did you put that on my car? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> and then she ran inside her house and came up with this and said, isn't this a perfect rock? Figure out something to do to paint this and then paint it for me. And I was like, oh my God, that's quite a, quite an assignment. But I'm thinking I'm going to do a turtle and uh, hopefully get it ready for her in the next little while so I can drop it in her mailbox uh, with a little note from me. So here we go, let's paint some rock, or paint a rock. All right, I've got my table, my painting tablecloth all set up. I've got my rock set up. Now, I want like a sagey kind of green. And I went to the dollar store, dollar tree, and um, they didn't really have a nice sagey green. They kind of have this. Uh, it might work. I think it's a bit light. So I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Ooh, that might be too much blue. But um, let's see what happens. Oh, see, this, I like this better. Yeah. It's a little sagey green. Yeah. Okay. So now I've got this perfect rock. And I'm going to paint both the top and the bottom of it. So I'll have to come back and do a little bit of it. So let's, let's get this portion painted first. Oh, and it might need two coats. Part of that rock is now done. But yeah, this will need two coats. I printed the page that I found on Pinterest and I'm going to try to transfer this portion onto my rock. So I'm going to make the head area to look like that. I want it to look like that. So, hmm, I might need an eraser. <laughs> so I think what actually what I want to do is I want to have it more, more of the head on the top portion and then less down there. But kind of looking like that. Okay, so here we go. I think I'm going to start at the bottom. All right, so now a, my little rock with the kind of area that is gonna be the face of the turtle is painted out. And I have I downloaded this off of Pinterest so that I can kind of have a really good idea of how to make the top portion look. So I'm going to draw that in now. So that is what we're going to do on this day. So we'll probably just do some drawing today. I have to get back and do some work for hubby. <laughs> So oh, oh, he's in a meeting right now, so he doesn't know that I'm drawing on a rock and not doing my social media stuff. So just like, we just won't say anything, okay? Thanks. All right, it's time to paint some yellow, but this yellow I think is too bright. So I'm gonna add a little bit of red. Oh, I was just outside, my glasses are all fogged up. It's like minus 30 outside. So I'm gonna add a little bit of red to the yellow to make it darker because um, so, and I'm, I'm going to paint what I, the shell portion that I drew out yesterday. All right, let's get this baby started. So I'm going to, I, wrote, I, I drew all these lines on the little turtle. So I'm going to make heavier lines are on the outside and then like thinner lines. So maybe I'll just start. I'm a All right, brought the camera a little closer so you can see what I'm doing.
All right, everybody. Let's. I so the painting of the shell is kind of more orangey than I had really wanted, but you know what? I don't think I mind it. So now the next thing to do is to do his little face. So I've kind of drawn an outline already, and I'm thinking of using sharpies. I'm going to put a little black dot right in the center. There we go. Perfect. And then I'll use a black Sharpie to do the outline of his eye or the inside of his eye. Oh my goodness, what a good looking little turtle. So that's what he's looking like so far. There. Okay, so now. All right, so I want to paint kind of around the eyes. So that's what he's looking like now. Are you frightened? And uh, I think, there we go. What do you think? It's a turtle. All right, so I finished doing a couple of things to Mr. Turtle. Hello, Mr. Turtle. And I put a few um, lines along the front. I finished his face and now I'm gonna, I put one coat of polyurethane on it and I'll show you how I put the rest of the polyurethane on it. Pretty easy. I'm gonna do it at the top and the bottom. See, the bottom doesn't have any on. And this just protects it in the elements. I've had a rock sitting outside with polyurethane on it for a year and it looks just as like I painted it yesterday. So um, like the, the, the verithane. This is poly, poly something, poly acrylic. Um, but I used this I think on a, a table I bought that I wanted to protect. But I've been using most of it to mod podge um, to protect Mod Podge like on rocks and stuff that I do. And so that's what I'll do with the, this little guy. All right. There's Turtle Turtle. Get that urea there thing out. So the good thing about this, I've got a, everybody's got a screwdriver sitting on their desk, don't they? It's the way my life is. And uh, so here's the Vera thing, just white. And then I'm just going to put get a spongy brush just dip it in like that and then pop it on and then just brush over it so I will also paint the bottom of it or everything the bottom of it to protect it but I'll just do the coats for And I just put really light coats on because I don't want big gloppy pieces of varathane on it. Because um, varathane can dry, usually dries clear, but if you put big glops on it, sometimes you can have big glops of, of um, like cloudy product. <laughs> so there we go. And that's our little turtle. There's our little turtle. Varathane. All right, here is my little turtle completely done verithaned and verithaned upside down on the bottom so that if you um, decide to put him outside he'll be good hey little teenage mutant ninja turtle okay so I have this little box and I'm going to put the turtle in the box here you go 
And then we'll just put the tissue paper over the turtle. There we go. And then I, I wrote this cute little note for Ashley and her grandson. And I'll put that in like that. And then let's close the box. This is very hard to do with one hand. Okay, down it goes. My hubby gets mud water, and this is one of the boxes that the nice mud water container comes in. All right, and then I think I'll wrap it up in some brown paper, if I have some brown paper, or I think I do. And then I'll walk over and drop it in her mailbox today. Huh. One neighborly favor done. All right, so thanks for watching. Thanks for coming to see me. Like and subscribe and share me with a friend because you know I'd love to meet them. I hope you're all having a good day. I'm feeling a little blah myself. I don't know if it's just the winter coming in, but I sure don't feel myself. And hubby has COVID. <laughs> and he's got bad COVID aches and pains and splitting headache. So, yeah. Mm. Anyways, I hope all of you are doing a little bit better. Have a great day. Bye-bye.